Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Tuesday, December 27th, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXC, GLD, and SLV. Okay, well, welcome back from uh, Christmas. Hope everyone had a uh, merry, safe, and uh, just wonderful Christmas. Um, the market today, not too many people came back from Christmas because it was just uh, insanely low, which is completely typical, and... Uh, um, a component of the Santa rally um, that we keep hearing about on television. Uh, well, Santa rally or not, today was not impressive in the market, um, low volume or not. Here we are with the Dow ending with a little doji star here at the top. Not impressive, not... Uh, not anything, really. Yeah, we've cleared these uh, previous peaks, but still... Um, yeah, not attractive. We can see that we have some excessive separation in the short-term moving averages, indicating that we do have a bubble already on hand, but we do not have any kind of a downtick. Uh, we can also see the 14-day RSI moving average is still marching on up, but uh, the stochastics appear to be about ready to roll over. CCI massively high, very overbought. Uh, downtick on the RSI, Slight uptick in the uh, histogram and the MACD. Uh, so, while the bulls are not done yet, it certainly is not, uh, uh, it's just not an attractive day. And maybe that's just because it's Tuesday, but uh, <laughs> I'll take a Tuesday over a Monday. But uh, anyway, moving along to the 60 minute, trying to get a little more flavor for what we have uh, to work with at the moment. Uh, we can see that. The 14-day uh, RSI moving average in the 60-minute time frame is massively high. You can see that the stochastics are on their way down, along with uh, the RSI being massively high, way overbought, down on the CCI, down on the uh, uh, stochastic, I'm sorry, on the uh, MACD histogram, and again, a bearish cross on the uh, MACD. Um, so yeah, this would be prime candidate for a... Uh, uh, a retest of the uh, bullish bar in the 60 minute time frame which is 100 points to the downside that is completely natural and if we do get that roller over on the uh, 14 day rsi once it uh, starts pointing down hey we'll have some uh, decent uh, movement to the downside and uh, which is completely fine after the uh, massive run that we have uh, had in the last couple of weeks spx also ending with a little doji star not impressive we said in the last video that we needed a complete large green candle um, completely above the 200 day moving average. We do not have that. We do have some excessive separation in the short term moving averages on this bounce up, but uh, still, it's not bad. It's, it's, uh, we don't have a downtick. We don't have, you know, massive amount of wobble or anything like that. It's still in its infancy on its uh, bounce off. So that's fine until we see some uh, a really big bubble form inside of this, which this one is just minor. I don't think we have too much to worry about, but still, I always have to keep in mind that we've had a, a very large bounce from this bottom. We have not had a real down day since it uh, started its bounce, and that would be completely natural. So if we could get an another green candle above this, at some point, we'll come back for a back test of the 200-day uh, moving average, and the question will be, can it finally bounce off of that? If we uh, if we do do that, uh, we're going to have a fantastic rally, and uh, that will be that inverse head and shoulders that we've uh, pointed out in the past, giving us uh, taking us way the heck up here to um, let's see here, what is that depth? Yeah, taking us way up here to. Uh, uh, somewhere in the about 1420 I think that sounds about right so uh, anyways lots of room to move uh, the VIX VIX gapped up today but uh, ran down the entire day it was kind of interesting to see it uh, move its uh, position and, and still have the market be positive most of the day we do have an uptick today gives us a target Right about 24. Yep, 24. So uh, that would be a nice little uh, move down in the market. But we still have the 14 day RSI moving average pointing down. We've been uh, discussing that for weeks now. Not trusting uh, uh, the VIX to roll over simply because of the 14 day and 
once again, there is no reason to trust it again. It's still pointing down. We still don't have a rollover. Um, beyond that, the stochastics are trying to get underway and move up. But uh, really, this is a completely unimpressive. TNA. Oh, yeah. Unlike the Dow and the SPX, we actually had a little bit of a candle today. And... Uh, didn't have a real body to speak of yesterday, so uh, yeah, I guess you could call it bullish engulfing, but uh, really I don't because there's no real body to really engulf. It was just uh, a big nothing. But nonetheless, we have the 14-day RSI moving average still pointing up. We have the stochastics getting very high, looking for a rollover there, but still, till we get that 14-day rolling over, I'm not too confident that uh, the dip will be too large or too uh, nasty. Uh, CCI massively high, RSI taking a sideways move, uptick on the histogram, uptick on the MACD. Uh, you know, not a bad looking chart. Um, really, none of the daily charts for the bullish perspective look bad, except that they're overstretched in, uh, you know, the CCI, the RSI, etc. Uh, not the RSI, the stochastics. So, uh, but beyond that, um, you know, they do look very good in the daily time frame. UUP. All right, now for something a little more interesting, something that actually does affect the market. Um, you can see the 14-day RSI moving average on UUP is pointing down, which is bullish for the market. Uh, we have a couple of mixed signals in the stochastics, but still, that 14-day RSI has plenty of room to move to the downside. So we know that we have plenty of room to move to the upside in the market. Uh, down tick on the CCI, down tick on the RSI, down tick on the uh, MACD getting the bearish cross, down tick on the histogram. Yeah, this uh, should go in at least for a bar retest, but it should do some damage to the bar. The question will be, do we break the upper price consensus level? That's the real question. And um, you can see in the fast stochastic, it's trying to bounce up a little bit. So that, yeah, it's fine if it wants to do that. The overriding... Uh, trend should be down over the next uh, couple of weeks at least one week but uh, we're now looking for confirmation in fxe yeah we don't really it's not as strong as with uup we actually still have a slight uh downward spiral on uh, fxe in the 14 day rsi moving average we want to see that turn up uh, that will be a nice confirmation for uup going down but uh, so I'm watching for that, and it, it, it's really close. I mean, it's almost a side tick, but it still has just a slight downward uh, pitch to it. So I want to see that correct um, uptick on the CCI, uptick on the RSI, uptick on the histogram. Looking for the actually getting the bullish cross on the MACD, although it could be a little more developed. So uh, we definitely want a, a bar retest on FXE and confirm the uh, down move in UUP and uh, consequently a uh, move up in the markets. GLD, still not attractive. Short-term moving average is still pointing down, uh, getting more of a bearish bar, um, just getting whacked in gold, uh, ending with a uh, little very micro uh, spinning top. And uh, if we don't zoom in on it, it almost looks like a doji star. But uh, really, if we blow it up, it looks like a spinning top. 14-day RSI moving average still pointing down. Yes, it is oversold uh, pretty significantly, but uh, it's still pointing down. That's all that matters. Um, stochastics re-rolling over. So uh, we could see them go all the way to the bottom, meet up with the 14-day RSI, and we have to wait for it to turn up. That's uh, completely fine. Um... MACD histogram is uh, rolling up. MACD itself going sideways. Down tick on the RSI getting to oversold and down tick on CCI. Still below the 200 day moving average, but uh, yeah, this does not look healthy. Not healthy at all. SLV. Is this any better than gold? Well, short term moving average is still pointing down. Bearish bar getting stronger. 14 day RSI moving average pointing down. Uh, stochastic still heading down. CCI heading down, RSI heading down, uh, slight side, actually slight uptick in the uh, MACD histogram, 
and the MACD itself slight tick down also not healthy we need to see if that previous floor is taken out we are not close to I'm sorry we are extremely close to taking it out and the 14 day RSI still has plenty of room to move not uh, not healthy and there you have it uh, totally unimpressed with today's action in the market uh, stayed out of it it was just a too low volume and too funky to play um, and I do think that uh, we are pretty uh, overbought in many many key indicators but uh, the overall movement has not concluded yet so a uh, minor dip down a, a temporary dip down would be more than welcome at this point but uh, we want to see the uh, primary indicators finish their move and then uh, and then see if we're going to have our catalyst catalyst to the downside which I think is only I don't know a week and a half away two weeks away so um, be looking for that more to come tomorrow hopefully we'll have a little bit more volume probably not but uh, in any case good luck as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video are for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you very much